In this video, we are going to be installing the VMware Virtual Appliance for your ESXi hosts. From the Devices section of the interface, I'll click Add, scroll down to the Supported Hypervisors, and click the VMware ESXi option. I'm going to be demonstrating the Virtual Appliance OVF. You can see the file I've downloaded here and already extracted. I'm going to open my vCenter and deploy the OVF template from the extracted file set. Next, through this wizard, I'm going to be giving the VM a name assign storage, disk networking options, and finish the deployment. Once the deployment is finished, we'll power on the virtual appliance and console into the system. After the services start, we'll provide the credentials for vCenter or EXI host, as well as the credentials for access to the management server. Here, we'll select cloud, leave the default URL, and input our username and password for the appropriate account for registration. You can see the name of the virtual appliance shown here, and once registered, we'll hop back over to our web console to verify that the virtual appliance is available in the platform. Here you can see the virtual appliance listed in the devices section, and now the VMware view is available in our interface. We could see our host clusters and all of the guest VMs available for protection. I can now apply a previously created protection plan to any of these VMs or create a brand new protection plan to back up the desired guests.